Hello people of YouTube and beyond, my name is Jamie Hayes and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Um, so as you can see, my chests are gone because I want to show you, uh, in the last episode I started making a storage room, um, but I decided that I didn't, like, oh shit, there's a creeper out there. Uh, in the last episode I started making a storage room, uh, but I decided I wasn't going to make you sit through that. Um, uh, so I've, that's what I've been doing since the last episode. So here it is, this is what I've done. I put some uh, dark oak fences because I thought they were really cool. Right, so, uh, you need to sit down. <laughs> oh, I love how she goes and sits over by the others and she just goes to see her friends. That is so cute. Anyway, right, I'm going to show you my storage room that I made. Um, so I did this, uh, you saw me do this, I dug this out, but I've uh, lined the walls with stone brick and this is polished andesite and then cobblestone stairs. Um, and yeah, this is what I came up with. Uh, I'm actually really, really happy with the way it turned out. Um, so yeah, as you can see, stone brick uh, walls. I absolutely love building with stone brick. I think it looks so nice. And then this uh, is smooth stone which is something that was added in a recent update uh, and you just sp smelt normal stone to get it uh, and then polished andesite ceiling and I added these um, lanterns instead of torches because I think they look so nice um, they, they really like and they they've got a uh, the light they emit is ever so slightly dimmer than a torch not by much um, but I think it just really sets the ambience for the room um, yeah and because I just I was an idiot and I made it an odd number of blocks that way I've got these in the middle, I've got some furnaces and a crafting table and I also made a stone cutter, um, I can't remember if I showed you that in the last video but I made a stone cutter um, for basically all of this, um, so I've put that there for now, I'm not sure where else to put it, I need something to put uh, here. Anyway, so this is what I've got, uh, I've labelled all the chests, so I've got wood, stone, dirt, other blocks, so anything that, so these are all like building blocks sort of thing, so you've got your wood, um, stone, dirt. Um, so these are all like building blocks and then this is for any blocks that don't fit into that category so I've got some wall in there for some reason. Then I've got weapons and tools, so my fishing rods, my bows, uh, I made some shears as well because in this episode I intend to get some sheep. Um, I've got my lead, my name tag and all that. Uh, and then I've got mob drops which is basically anything that a mob drops when you kill it. So you know like spider eyes, bones, rotten flesh, all of that sort of thing. Then I've got other which is basically anything that didn't fit into any of these chests. Um, I mean as I go along I will probably like for example this glowstone dust I got it from killing a witch and eventually I will venture into the nether and I will make another chest so that will go in there. That You know that sort of thing but this for now this is for anything that didn't fit in any of these existing chests. I've got my farmables um, and you might notice it's a bit scattered and I have some stuff in my inventory because I also am going to update my farm in this episode because last time I came back and I had expanded my, for my farm um, and you guys didn't get to see that so in this episode I'm going to expand my farm and make it look nice which is why I've got this stuff in my inventory and why this chest looks slightly more empty than it should be. I've got food in here, so anything that uh, can be eaten basically, or made into food. Um, I don't know about the golden apple, I think you can eat golden apples, but I'm not entirely sure. And I think you use them to cure zombie villagers, I think. I think there's a way to do it, but anyway, this is all the food in here. Then I've got flowers and dyes. I haven't actually made any flowers yet, but this is where, any dyes even. <laughs> I haven't made any dyes, um, but this is where they are going to be put. And I've got the flowers in rainbow order. Uh, and then I've got mined goods. So anything that I get when I go mining. Um, I put the redstone in there, even though I found it from killing a witch, I think. Um, I think it, it was either in a dungeon or killing a witch that I got the redstone. Anyway, um, this is where like everything that I when I go mining goes in here and I've got some iron nuggets because I had to craft them to make uh, these lanterns but anyway so that's what I've done um, since the last episode I'm really liking the way this looks um, I hope you guys like it as well um, I love this aesthetic of just these stone like the stone bricks and stuff it's really cool um, so yeah that's what I did in between the last episode and this one so yeah like I said my first job is going to be to update my farm um, and I think the first thing I need to do for that is go and get some wood because I like to take inspiration from village farms and I like to surround them with... Oh, hello. Ooh, trader, cool. Uh, what are you doing? Kelp, cactus, sand, melon seeds, red sandstone and packed ice. Uh, you don't really have anything useful. This is the thing. I know it's mean, but I always kill the wandering trader if he doesn't have anything useful because I want the leads from his alpacas. Him himself, I'm not over bothered about, and plus he goes invisible when you attack him, so I, d I don't really care. Um, but yeah, just so that I can get the leads from him. 
um, because I think you might also be able to craft leads, I'm not entirely sure, um, but as far as I'm aware you can kind of craft them from slime balls and string. I don't know if this, if that's in this version of the game, um, but I think you can craft them in some versions. Anyway, but I just find it easier to just kill the wandering trader um, to get his leads from his alpacas, llamas, whatever the fuck they're called. Yeah, I remember it like in the first episode, I um, I I called them alpacas, and I think that in the game they're actually called llamas, and I think there actually is a difference between alpacas and llamas. I don't know what it is, um, but yeah. Uh, so I think in one of the episodes I called them alpacas, um, but they're not the llamas. <laughs> Either way, whatever. You know, I I just kill him to get the leads from him because it makes my life easier. You know. Um, you know, like, uh, I will, uh, at some point I will be making a sheep farm, um, to go with my animal farm, um, and if I don't have an, and it might just be useful to have a bunch of leads, um, to lead them in instead of using wheat, because they lose interest in the wheat, um, whereas with the lead, and you can keep them quite close with the lead as well. Um, and I was watching the episode I did where I went into the jungle and I found, I found my bird. Uh, I, was wa I was watching that back and editing it. Um, and I didn't realise that that episode ended up being close to 50 minutes long, um, which I did not expect. I didn't realise I'd been recording that long. Um, so I edited it down um, and I, I've got it down to about 35 minutes, which hopefully shouldn't be too long for YouTube. Um, yeah, but I edited, it, I edited it down a little bit because half of that video was spent in the jungle trying to get my bird back home, um, as you probably will have seen. I think it will hopefully have gone up by the time you see this. Well, I mean, I would imagine so because it's it's um, the it, it's a part in the series that comes before this. Anyway, I'm fucking rambling. Uh, that is annoying. I'm sorry, I don't even care. I just, I have to fix that. That is annoying. <laughs> Anyway, right, so, uh, first things first, I need to get rid of everything that is in my farm, uh, and just basically redo it. I'm re gonna redo the whole thing. Um, uh, so yeah. Uh, actually, I'm gonna need some dirt. Oh, for fuck's sake, I, th I thought I was fully prepared, I didn't bring dirt up. Um, because I'm going to raise it up a level. And I'm still debating whether I want, uh, fences on it, I don't know, we'll have to see, um, how that goes. And uh, when I have water in it, I'm going to see if I can find some lily pads and put them over the water. Um, because that means that the crops still get water and they are still hydrated and whatnot, but you don't fall into the water. Oh, my axe is going to die. Oh, that gr that just grew. Okay, well, my axe is dead. Um, but yeah, so like if you put lily pads over the water, you can walk over the water and your crops don't fall into the water, which um, it, I find is quite useful. Right, get rid of all of these. Right, cool. Salted. Uh, I only got one melon seed from that. God damn it. Right, uh, one, two, three, four, five, I think. We'll just have to see how we go with that. Uh, anyway, right, so, um, yeah, I need to basically sort of jump, either jump on it or just build on top of it. Uh, yeah, all right, I need to make another axe. God damn it. Oh, and this, like, look, this is from my storage room because I built it down and... Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe I might have some, I want something to cover that because it just looks odd. Uh, I'm thinking maybe some sort of flower bed, I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, anyway, right, axe. Oh uh, yeah, I've got to go down into my storage room now to do that, I can't do that up here. I, don't, um, I mean, yeah, like doing this, it takes a couple of seconds to get down, maybe I shouldn't have built it quite so far down. Um, so I was contemplating having a couple of chests upstairs for just convenience sake but I really like this you know I don't know we will see anyway <laughs> oh yeah and I was watching the last episode back where I went into a abandoned mine shaft and I was just being so awkward in that video uh it was just oh it was cringy to watch really I'm still gonna upload it because well yeah because as of the time I'm recording this I haven't uploaded that video but uh, I'm still gonna upload it because I mean it's still a video and it's a part in the series but it's even if I find it cringy to watch and I was being really awkward um, and that's probably because like I was recording that right after um I'd already like um oh, I don't know what I'm trying to say all right I'm gonna fill up this chest uh Right, I need to put only things in there that I'm not going to plant, or that I don't need to plant. I've got potatoes as well, um, which I found in a village. Uh, so that'll be good, it's another addition to the farm. Um, right, I think I've got everything that I'm going to plant, and otherwise everything else is in the chest, I think. I'm gonna bring these, oh shit. I'm gonna bring these pumpkin seeds as well. 
and melon seeds and all that. Anyway, <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm sort of getting back into it. I'm getting back to my old self. Oh, it's getting dark. God damn it. Um, I feel like I'm getting back to my old self of just like talking and trying to be somewhat fluent, you know, and like stalling less and all of this. You know, I'm slowly easing into it and getting more comfortable with it. Oh, fuck. I made a pickaxe, not an axe. God damn it. I'm such a fucking idiot. <laughs> How many of you were just waiting for me to realise? <laughs> fucking hell. I'm not with it today. I'm just used to making pickaxes because I went, I went, I did a shit ton of mining to get all of the materials to make this room. Uh, no. Right, I'm going to put you in there then. Uh, yeah, I went, I went mine because I, I ran out of cobblestone. Uh, I, 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 had, I thought I'd have enough, but I didn't. Uh, I ran out of cobblestone, so I had to go and get some cobblestone, and I had to get some andesite, granite, and diorite. Uh, right, make an axe this time. Uh, yeah, I had to go and get some other stuff uh, to be able to finish this room. Um, so yeah, I, that's why I'm used to making pickaxes because I was I went through so many pickaxes. I mean, I've got like two and a bit stacks of iron, um, and I do like it when it always gets to that point uh, in a playthrough when I get enough iron that I can just make tools left right and center when they break um that's why i like to do mining trips because um like it gives me that security and i know i always have a stash of whatever it is i'm building with um so yeah right so i'm going to get rid of all of these uh yeah and i'm basically just going to completely redo my farm because uh, this is this is good and it's served me well up until this point but i want to make something that looks nice as well as one that is functional um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. So yeah, I think I'm going to do this and, uh, I need to get some sheep as well. I need to make some dyes, um, which will be interesting, uh, because there, it, there was another update that they did. Um, so now blue dye is a thing. You don't have to use lapis and also white dye, black dye and brown dye is also a thing. Um, cause before you had to use, uh, bone meal, uh, bone meal, uh, cocoa beans, and uh, ink sacks uh, instead of dyes, but they now, and dyes are actually a thing now, um, which makes it, which makes my life easier. That's a point, I'm actually going to have to go and find some squids to get some ink sacks to get a, uh, a black sheep. Uh, anyway, oh, dirt, god damn it! Oh my god, this is not going well. This is the thing, right, I thought I was so prepared, I, I, I got everything in my inventory before I started recording and I was like, right, I'm pretty sure I've got everything. Nope. <laughs> right, so. Nope. No. Give me the dirt. Jesus Christ. Right, so I'm going to plug up this hole. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to literally start building. So, uh, right, I want it two in from this, because why not? Um, so, there is a certain way that I like to do it. So, I have a row of two for everything. Uh, two by four, five, six, seven ish, something like that. Um, yeah, and this is what I always do, and then I surround it with uh, logs usually. So yeah, um, in case I end up cutting that bit out, this is my farm. Uh, so I'm going to start at this end and walk you through what I've got. So I've got uh, wheat, potatoes, 
carrots, beetroot, berries, uh, pumpkins, melons, sugarcane, and cactus. Um, now the only thing left to do is mushrooms and uh, cocoa beans. Oh, I didn't leave enough room for bloody cocoa beans. Um, I'll put the cocoa beans like kind of slightly a little bit off to the side. Um, so I've got six jungle logs, which is like two lots of three. Um, I think I'm just going to put them like here. Um, so they are like kind of within the vicinity of the main farm, but not too far away. Right, kill wall. Fucking move. <laughs> right, so I'm going to have one here. Two, three. And then I need a two block gap. And then two, three. Uh, and then my cocoa beans. And then I just do it like this. Um, I've never actually had the chance to do this in survival. I've only ever done this in creative. Because I'm a nerd and I am a completionist in creative as well. Um, oh, I don't have enough. God damn. <laughs> well, when they grow, I can get more. See? Cool. Right. Uh, where was I up to? Uh, right, one, two. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so that's how I grow sugar cane. Because they were... No, not sugar cane. Uh, thingy. Fucking cocoa beans. I can't, I can't, I can't word today. Words words fail me today oh that one's not fully grown but yeah like um and it took me a while to actually figure this out uh and we're full yay right now to completely torch the place and don't i don't mean burn it i mean like just put torches absolutely everywhere oh awesome cool yeah um i like um giving them light uh makes it better for them like they can grow better i think as far as I'm aware, anyway. Yeah, I w I've decided against uh, fences. Um, because, like, meh. Alright, so I'm just going to put a crap ton of torches everywhere so that my lovely crops can grow big and strong. Oh, it looks so cool! Oh, it looks amazing. Right, now I've got to sort everything out back in... Oh! Jesus Christ, I tried swimming in my infinite water source. Oh, I'm also going to have a look at this trader, see if he's got anything good. Actually, to be fair, I don't have any emeralds, so there's not much point. I can't even trade with him. Uh, Grey dye, ooh, that would be useful. Uh, sand, nautilus shell, lily pad. Oh, the lily pad would be useful as well. Glowstone and gunpowder. And it's one emerald for two lily pads, God damn it. I mean, there's a swamp biome somewhere in the vicinity. I can just go and get lily pads from there. Right, I'm afraid I have to kill you. You know the drill. Die. Oh, yeah, and they give me leather as well, which will be useful. You're not going invisible this time? Okay. Right. Uh, oh, there's a brown sheep there. Actually, while I have... Oh, no. I need to build the actual sheep farm first, and then I can start luring them in. Um, so, anyway, I'm just going to sort out my stuff real quick. Cool. Salted. Awesome nurse. Right. Now... Oh, wait. Oh, hang on. While, while I'm down here... Um, I have to grab some fences, and uh, I might as well grab the fence gate while I'm here. Uh, yeah, I've got to grab some fences to make the sheep farm. Oh, we are making progress. We are doing cool things. Right, I need to figure out where I want uh, my sheep farm to be. Yeah, like I, I think I've already mentioned it, but I like to have separate farms for my animals. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh. I think I've done, I've, this is slap bang in the middle. I could move this over this way and then put the sheep farm over here. Which I am heavily tempted to do. Ugh, right, I mean, anyway, I'm going to sleep. Um, and then I'm going to deal with that in the morning. <sighs> yeah, um, yeah, I'm literally just going to sort of uh, expand it. Or like move it, basically. Right, um, question is, where do I want you? Right, um, yeah, no, that's good, actually. Wait, hang on. No, I want it a little bit further away from the house. Not quite that close.
Right, uh, yeah, so that works. Cool. And let's get it here. Cool, right, so now I have a thing where I can put my sheep, which is great. No, you, hey, hey, you're not getting out. Oh, little shit. Right, so I'm going to put those away, and I'm just going to go and l grab a bunch of sheep. No, you're not getting out, fuck off. Um, yeah, I have my leash, so I'm not bothered about having wheat on me. Oh, I saw the brown, where did the brown sheep go, is it still round? I mean, if not, oh, there it is. Right, you are coming with me. Oh, is that one? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I only really need two, and I can just breed them. Um, I do want to try and grab as many as possible, though. I do have to walk straight past you. Go away. Go away. Go away, Bob. <laughs> the wandering trader's name is now Bob. And then my next job is to create some dyes um, to actually dye the sheep. Right, you are coming with me. And so are you. Come here. And then I want to bring your brother with me as well. Right, cool. Oh, there's another one. You can join our posse. Look at this. I've got so many sheep. Right. If you all run away now, this will all be for nothing. Right. Leads, leads, leads. Give me all of my leads back. Right. The brown one is probably the most important. Right, cool. Come on then. All of you come over. Yay, I has sheep. Right, I can unleash all of you now. Unleash the sheep. <laughs> right, uh got all my leads back. Yeah, cool. Right, now I need to get some wheat and I need to breed you guys. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm making so much good progress in this episode, which I am happy about. Right, uh, gotta go downstairs, sort all my shit out. Right, uh, dies. Oh, this is going well. Oh, right, actually, right, uh, right, I'm going to get rid of my bed for a second so I can do this. Yay, red bed! Oh, yay, that looks so cool. Oh, I am happy. Right, time to dye some sheep. Oh, hello, burning zombie. Oh, if I kill you, will I get experience? No. Oh, yes. Yay. Right, now, time to dye all of you and make you lovely colours. Oh, fuck, wait. Ah, oh, I didn't get a week to breed them. It's a good thing I've got some growing over here. Look, everything is pretty much nearly fully grown. Oh, this is awesome. <clears throat> Yay, fun. <sighs> um, yeah, so, breeding and dying. Oh, this is cool. And this will help uh, for future if I end up deciding that I want to do anything, like, colourful. Right, uh, you and you. Yeah, this will help if I end up wanting to do anything colourful in the future, like building really cool things. Right, so we need a red one, an orange one, a yellow one, we need a green one and both of the blues. We need, oh, right, we need green, light blue, and you, you little baby, can be dark blue. And then we need purple, magenta, and pink. Oh, we don't have enough for the rest of them. Oh, wait, uh, oh, right, I'm going to leave that one white. Right, cool. Right, where's the, there's the gate. I keep forgetting, because normally I have my gate in the middle. I never have it in the corner. Oh, awesome. And then I'll just breed them and make some more babies uh, when I want more different colours. All right, also, before I finish out the episode, I have something I want to do. Uh, I want to make this look a bit nicer. There. Oh, that looks so pretty. And these are look even better once grass has grown on them. Look, see, they look so nice with all the, the grass on it. Uh, I need to make some more trapdoors. Um, but yeah, I think this looks really nice. Um, and it covers up that uh, weird piece of um, andesite that I was making the thing with. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I think that will probably do it for this episode. I will sort that out before next episode. I'll get some more trapdoors. 
Um, but yeah, so I think that pretty much does it for this episode. Um, yeah, so I feel like I've made some really good progress in this episode. Um, I expanded my farm and I made a sheep farm. Uh, yeah, so I feel like I've made a lot of good progress. So as always, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!